Good morning. It's a little bit early in the day. It's about 7 o'clock, 7.30, so not too, too early. I've been up since 6. Well, 5, really. Little son woke up and needed a cuddle because he's got a bit of a cold. But I've been working on this test knit. I'm trying really, really hard to finish it in time. I think it's due October 17th, and right now it's October 6th. So I've got another week to finish it, and I'm about a third of the way done. And I just wanted to share, because as you can see, I am almost done another ball of yarn in this blanket. This will be the second one that I've finished. And I don't know if anyone else has done this, but what I did <clears throat> is I like to pull all the yarn that I'm going to use in the blanket and have it in a basket set aside and then go through and see how many skeins of yarn you can use from your stash. If you remember from last year, my stash is pretty significant and I'm, I try really really hard not to buy yarn this year. I think I made it about 10 months before I found Yarn Canada online and I've made two purchases so far this year, so, you know, that's okay. I also have these huge balls of yarn right here. <laughs> you can see how much yarn is actually used up in each of the sections. Um, so I'm going to have a lot of this still left over, but so far two... Well, here, let's show you a bit properly. I've used up one of these. So one of these ones, which I think was just a Fentex um, Mill Ends package that I had gotten. And then this one used to be about this big. No, it was a little bit smaller. It was only 400 yards. But I used up one of these, and then I have another one here in the basket. And then I do have another one in my stash. I've got another week to go on this blanket. And I'm about a third of the way done, so I guess we better get cracking on it some more.
Hey, <clears throat> welcome to an episode of the Admire Yarns podcast. So you can tell already it's a little bit different than what I used to do. Not your usual sit down and chat about all my knitting adventures here. I wanted to do a bit more of a vlog style focusing on the actual knitting content of the podcast rather than just me yakking on about everything. I wanted you to be able to see some of the knitting as well. Um, this video, my voice is a little crazy because son, little son brought home the daycare plague from daycare. Um, don't worry, we followed all the rules, did all the isolation, did all the testing. We're negative, it's just, just the bug. Just the cold bug that you get from when your children go to daycare. And the blanket that I'm working on, I already talked about it, but it's from the Lake House, not Lake House, Beach House Knits. Uh, you can find her on Instagram, Ravelry, and on her own website. I believe it is just Beach House Knits, because apparently I feel like she should be Lake House Knits, but she is not. Most likely because I have Lake House, or by the lakeside on my mind, and now they just went into one person. Um, I have eight days left to finish that test knit. Kind of freaking out a little bit because I don't know if I'll get it done. I have about 150 rows to go. And at the beginning you of the video, you I took a little clip, a little up and down clip of um what I have so far. It is very gorgeous. I'm actually knitting it as a Christmas present for one of my friends. I think she'll like it. And it'll go well with her living room. I don't think she watches, so I don't think it's a, much of a um, surprise ruiner if I share it on here. Because I don't think she watches. But if she does, forget that I said anything, okay? I don't know if anyone else does this, but I started putting all the yarn into a basket uh, when I do large projects just to see how much of my stash I can use. And um, this is what I have left from this week. Around. This is what I have left. That's it. And the two big balls here. This one, actually, I might finish it. And then I'm working. I. I only have these three left of this color. This is all I have left of this one. So I'm hoping I'll be able to finish the blanket with this one. If not, I have another skein that I can use and that'll be fine. But yeah, a little bit of yarn check in with this one. Of course, I got some hand cream because dry hands. It's fall. It's dry. The beautiful blanket so far. It's going to get to about 60 inches. I think it's just over 30 right now. So, you know, getting there. I really like it. I like the stripes. I have another blanket in mind that I want to make for another person. So, we'll see how that goes. Got a lot of um, projects that I want to do in coming up. Like I said, actually I don't think I have said we are 25 weeks pregnant with our second baby, so I have a few baby knits that I want to get done before that happens. We have four more months to go before he's here. It's another boy, so I'm going to be a mom of two boys now. <laughs> it's kind of exciting, kind of nerve-wracking at the same time, like... But anyway, I want to knit him a little sweater, and I finally picked out a blanket. The, um, the Four Points blanket from Pearl Soho is what I'll be working on next, so you'll be able to see that in my videos. And then I'm going to make a little baby flax, blue baby flax, and then I do want to knit him a hat as well. A little yellow hat I think would be cute. And I'd like a yellow hat for myself too, if I could get down and get that done. Um, so yeah, the next few videos are just going to be 
focusing on whatever project I'm mainly working on at the moment and mixed in with a little bit of chatter odd and knitting because I mean it's kind of my passion right <laughs> you might as well see me do some knitting hopefully the next time that I record I'll be over this cold it'd be nice to be able to breathe normally like a human being again you know don't really realize what you got till it's gone but anyway I'll talk to you all soon thanks for watching bye